In 1871, lawyer Clement Vallandigham was demonstrating how the victim was not murdered but accidentally shot himself while drawing his weapon. Ironically, Vallandigham did the exact same mistake during the reenactment. Bobby Leach, the daredevil who successfully survived the 180-foot drop of Niagara Falls in a barrel was done by a four-foot drop to the ground after he slipped on an orange pill. Ouch! The fall broke his leg, which had to be amputed. He died from the complications. In 1988, a man named Mel Ignatow killed his ex-girlfriend on a glass coffee table. But due to double jeopardy, he only had to serve 10 years in prison. However, karma didn't let him go unpunished. One day, he tripped and eventually died of the wounds he sustained from falling onto his glass coffee table. During American Civil War, Union Major General John Sedgwick chided his men as cowards for hiding away from Confederate bullets fired at them from thousand years away. He said, they couldn't hit an elephant at this distance. A minute later, a rebel sharpshooter put a bullet in his eye. Segway devices are advertised as slow but safe and clean way of transportation. Ironically, Jimmy Hesselden, past owner of the Segway company, would disagree. He accidentally drove his Segway of an 80-foot cliff to his death. Alan Pinkerton, the man who throttled an assassination attempt on Abraham Lincoln and hunted Jesse James, was indirectly died by slipping on a pavement. He beat his own tongue in this accident and succumbed to the fatal infection later. Michael Anderson was a convicted murderer, but before he made the electric chair, he convinced Juror to reduce his sentence. One day, as he sat on his metal toilet in his cell and fixed his television, the Reaper gave him his original sentence. He died of electrocution. Hans Steininger was an Austrian man who became famous for having a one and a half meter long beard. One day, Hans accidentally tripped on his long beard. He lost his balance and fell, breaking his neck from the unexpected accident. He died instantaneously. In 1985, the lifeguards in New Orleans threw a pool party to celebrate the fact that nobody had died in the water that summer. Even with 200 lifeguards in attendance at the party, a man still managed to drown in the deep end at night. A would-be female suicide bomber in Russia was planning to detonate a suicide bail bomb with mobile detonator near Red Square. The plan was foiled when her wireless carrier sent her SMS while she was still at a safe house, setting off the bomb and killing her. Ironically, the message was a Happy New Year.